A typical street from a war zone in Afghanistan has been rebuilt in the capital to make Londoners aware of the deadly dangers faced by our armed, armed, by our armed services abroad. It's at the National Army Museum in Chelsea and our reporter Amelia Papadopoulos went to take a look with a soldier who lost both his legs while on active service in Helmand province. Get inside. Another improvised explosive device is dealt with in Afghanistan. Crucial work on the front line but something most people would only ever see in news reports. Now, a new exhibition at the National Army Museum in Chelsea is giving the public a chance to get a feel for life on the battlefield, searching Actually, for hidden explosives like down an Afghan street. Um, we've got things in the ground that shouldn't be there, so obviously that's a raising immediate suspicion. In the real war zone, not finding these bombs in time can have severe consequences. Meet Sergeant Simon Harmer. Uh, in, in 2009, um, in Afghanistan, um, I, I activated an IED and lost, lost both of my legs. Um, at the time, uh, I mean, there was pain, not what you'd think though, um, but all I really cared about was getting home to see my wife. We'd only been married for less than three months at that point, and, um, you know, I knew the situation that I was in. Uh, being a medic, I, I um, understand the implications of my injuries. Sergeant Harmer is now based at Headley Court in Surrey, where he's undergoing rehabilitation for his injuries. He thinks the public could benefit significantly from visiting the exhibition. You know, I think it's important that um, taxpayers know what their money has been spent on, and and you know, we've been out there for a long time, and um, I think that uh, any expedition, exhibition like this is important for the public to see. They can get an indication of what it's like. They'll never know completely what it's like. It's not just a display of war and weapons, but the stories of soldiers who've served in the ongoing conflict. In their own words, it's as close to the real thing as we will ever get. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.